In this video, we'll show you how to set up a LASCAR data logger using the Windows control software supplied. Simply place your data logger into your computer's USB port, hit the setup and start button, and walk through the setup process. During this demonstration, we'll be using LASCAR's ELUSB2 LCD, but configuration of all LASCAR data loggers is based on the same Windows interface. You'll first be asked to give your logger a name. Perhaps you're using several and want to give each of them a unique name. Next, determine whether you wish to measure in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Finally, choose the rate at which you wish to sample, from once every 10 seconds to once every 12 hours. The information you see in parentheses after each sample rate shows how long it will take the unit to fill with data. On this unit, you can choose whether you wish to have the LCD on during logging, so you can see the highest, lowest and last log taken, or whether you wish to conserve battery life and leave the LCD off. Choose what you want the logger to do when it's full of data. Start again, erasing the previous logs, or to stop so data can be downloaded. All of LASCAR's data loggers allow you to set both high and low alarms, so you can see where the measurements have reached certain levels during any given session. If an alarm is met during a logging session, a red LED will flash to indicate this. The ELUSB2 LCD, used in this example, records both temperature and humidity, and you can configure alarms for both. Use the checkbox to enable an alarm, the drop down to select a value, and the hold checkbox to determine whether the indication continues after the reading has returned to normal. Lastly, choose when you want the logger to start logging. You can choose between immediate start, start when the data logger button is pressed, or choose a delayed start where you can set the logger to start at a specified time and date in the future. This feature is a useful way of starting a number of data loggers together at the same time. Hit finish and remove the data logger from the USB port. It's ready for use. 